It's summertime, and that means more people and more wild animals are sharing the trails, parks, and streets across the North Metro. And among the animals reported in the past couple of months are bears. One police department used some exciting video to try to teach others how to handle a bear situation. It's up to Lieutenant Russell Blank to keep up with what's coming in and going out over the Centennial Lakes Police Facebook page when he saw someone sent the department this video of a bear in Circle Pines. He knew he needed to use it to get the word out. First of all, we have not had many interactions with bears in, in this jurisdiction in my 23 years here. So they're very uncommon. But if you do have an interaction, report it. But stay away from it. It appears that's what happened with this rather large black bear. No one bothered it as it meandered through the Village Parkway neighborhood and then reportedly showed up in Lino Lakes later the same day. Blank has spent some time this week brushing up on his bear 411. Bears are common to northern Minnesota, but they will come south when they're hungry. And they'll look for a food source that's easy, uh, like garbage, bird feeders are, are very common pet food, barbecue grills, and if they find food in a location, they'll go back to that location. He said the recent summer spate of bear sightings in Anoka County are a good chance to educate people who may call 911 on how they can best respond. You need to tolerate it. You need to give it some space, let it do what it wants to do, go back into your house, don't let your dog uh, interact with it, and the bear will likely wander off. And you can likely continue enjoying the wildlife that Minnesota has to offer. We have to cooperate with nature. We have to give it some room and be wary of it. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy it and, and marvel at it, but don't, don't overstep your bounds with it. Minnesota DNR has much more information about bears online, including a site where the sightings are plotted. You'll find links at NorthMetroTV.com.